Hello, welcome to Minivation Studios. Michael here. And you know, there's been a thought that has been occurring at the back of my mind each time I make one of these uh, Brightline videos. And that thought is, is that I have always wondered what is going to be the future price of the Orlando to uh, Miami tickets when Brightline finishes their Orlando station in like three years from now. Well, recently I've been doing like some calculations and uh, yeah, actually I do have some like theoretical answers of what could be the future prices of Brightline Smart, Smart Plus, and Select Class tickets for this, you know, like their entire length of the uh, expanded system. Again, you know, like this is just like theories and all that stuff, so I could be totally wrong about it. But anyways, I'm going to have fun and try to take a gander at what the prices of uh, Brightline's tickets are going to be. So after looking around on their website, I usually find that the average ticket prices for Brightline from you know either their one-way trip between West Palm Beach and Fort Lauderdale and Fort Lauderdale to Miami is usually around like $17 for Smart, uh, $23 for Smart Plus, and $30 for Select. And just to briefly tell you guys what's the difference between these classes, Smart is basically their passenger class, Smart Plus is their middle tiered, and Select is their first class service. Now, after seeing these prices, I do wonder how much more expensive would be a one-way ticket from West Palm Beach to Miami versus the West Palm Beach to Fort Lauderdale. Well, it turns out that for all of these classes, Brightline only adds $5 more to all of them. Yes, so it's basically $22 for Smart, $28 for Smart Plus, and $35 for Select for a one-way trip between West Palm Beach and Miami and the other way around as well. So this is actually pretty smart because what it tells me is that Brightline really does encourage travelers to travel a farther distance on their trains in order to get like good prices and stuff like that. So anyways, um, on my previous video, I have calculated that the average distance between the stations is around uh, 33.145 miles. So, if you're going to go to West Palm Beach to Fort Lauderdale, and then Brian only charges $5 extra to go from basically an average distance of 33.145, well, basically I'm going to do in order to calculate what does Brightline charge for that extra miles, is to take $5 and divide that by 33.145. And if you do the math for that, it will come to around basically 15 cents per mile if you decide to go a little bit farther distance on Brightline. I know this is pretty flawed math, but again, as I mentioned before, this video is all about just a guess, so, you know, please bear with me. After using Google Maps, I have found out that the distance between West Palm Beach to Coco would be around 129.51 miles, and then from Coco to Orlando for Brightline is around 37.8. So if we add up those two numbers, it should come around to 167.31 miles. Pretty close to the 170 miles that Brightline says that they're going to be constructing in terms of new track. So yes, but I'm going to be using the 167.31 miles for this uh, video. If we take 167.31 miles and then times it by 15 cents per mile, then basically you should get around uh, $25.09 is what I believe Brightling will charge extra in terms of getting from West Palm Beach to Orlando. And uh, so if we add up to the current prices that uh, Brightline charges for like their, um, you know, like their one-way trip between Miami and West Palm Beach, Smart Class would become around $47.09. Smart Plus would become around $53.09. And then Select Class would become around $60.09. Uh, these are the prices for a one-way trip. Now, if we times all these numbers by two, it should come to around $94 for Smart. Um, for Smart Plus, it's around $106.18. And for Select, it is $120.18. And all these new prices are basically the cost that I believe that Brightline is going to charge for a round trip on their basically from Miami all the way to uh, Orlando. Now, these prices do seem expensive and uh, yes, they are. Um, especially when you compare that you can basically get a roundway trip on an airline from you know like uh, Orlando to Miami for roughly around like $115. 
But remember, if you have seen my videos about like Brightline, you would understand that um, smart class on Brightline or alone is as good as business classes on airplanes. So yeah, that's that. And also the select class of the train is really super nice. It is. I haven't personally ridden it yet, but from what I've heard from like people in the comment section and everything, they tell me that it is very, very good and everything. And you know, like if you compare the $120 round trip for select class to basically airlines first class, you would see there's a pretty huge gap difference between those two prices. So uh, yeah, so even though Brightline, you know, like tickets may seem of expensive, I think personally that. Um, you know, they are still a relatively good deal, especially what you can get. Honestly, if you're looking to travel the cheapest way, well, there is a pretty good option for you, and that's called Mega Bus. <laughs> uh, but anyways, yeah. Oh, and don't forget that this is basically like the average prices that I calculated that I think Brightline is going to charge. There's always times that Brightline charges lower for their tickets as well. And don't forget that I still think that Brightline, when they open up to their Orlando, you know, like expansion, there's gonna, they're still going to have the amazing promo codes that they offer on their website, which makes this train an absolute steal. So, uh, yeah, so that's basically all I have to say about uh, what I think is going to be the future prices of Brightline when they go on expanding to Orlando. Again, I didn't want to make this video too long. I just wanted to create this very short and quick video and perhaps a fun video too about explaining what my uh, findings and theor theories about what the future prices are going to be when uh, Brian finishes their Orlando expansion. But anyways, so yes, I hope you guys enjoyed, um, you know, like this video and my calculations. Perhaps if you guys even have like better guesses and calculations and stuff like that, please make a video about this kind of subject or even, you know, like comment in the comment section down below because I would love to see what your guys guesses is, is uh, what is going to be the future prices of Brightline when they open up their Orlando uh, station but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time